green machine represented it as well we have four clubs in action here one of them is the canberra raiders they won the 2008 toyota cup they made last year's finals as well and here they are in the second last week of this year's national youth competition again they finished in sixth after limping into the finals they were heavily beaten in the first week but bounced back against north queensland and drury low has helped them from the first season this season outstanding when it comes to tries he's averaging one per game stewie and plenty of first grade experience too he'll bring that to the rest of his side the experience that he's had and if he can get across the line tonight today it'll be very important for the raiders well it could well be a shootout between the two number threes drury low and on the other side of the paddock for the South Sydney Rabbitohs who enter the stadium now, Junior Vivi has been just as good when it comes to scoring tries. 16 in his 19 games, so perhaps a touch below one and have one per game, but certainly not significant enough to suggest that he won't be a real force. Another to taste NRL rugby league. That's right, and these players are going to be important to both their teams. Plenty of strike out wide for both sides. We should see the football hitting the fringes from side to side. Matty McKilrick, hooker for the Raiders. Laulu for the Bunnies. They're all ready to play under the guidance of Gavin Morris. In charge of his 40th Toyota Cup game. The Warriors wait in the grand final for the winner of this one. The Raiders with the first use of the football. At a stadium that will fill throughout the evening, hitting about 70,000 by the time we have kickoff in the NRL. McKilrick comes out to Appleton. Starting props, Appleton and Kennedy have got through lots of work in the finals for the Raiders. Especially effective early on. Here's Sam Williams. Third to go short. And now the kick from Smart. The only Raider to play every game this season, James Smart. Sits up for James Roberts, who has to get to ground. He was at risk of being dragged into touch. Stayed in field. A lot has been said about all the outside backs on either side, but it's going to be the battle in the middle, the forwards that can dominate, the go forward, finding your front, getting those quick play balls, getting some momentum in attack. But also defensively, as long as your markers are working, your A and B defenders are getting up, spur of the line, as we see the first error from the South Sydney side. And they also can be very important to the sides. An uncharacteristic error from Nathan Peets. Maybe a touch of early nerves. Nathan is one of five Rabbitohs to play every game this season. Josh Mansour, Adam Reynolds. Pete's, Jake Shearer and Jack Toolam now the last two off the bench. So they've had some consistency as Drury Low has an early crack. Tackled by Kane Morgan. And now Thomas out of acting half. And as he went to get to his feet, it looked like the ball popped free and Gavin Morris agrees. So Michael Thomas, who boasts a ton of speed, coming up with an error with his first touch just a simple drop ball you already touched on it matt just a couple of nervous errors that's all it is everyone wants to get their hands on the ball everyone wants to get in and make that tackle get that nerves out of the system get yourself involved in the football game and uh both coaches will be hoping that they can get these nerves out of their system nice and early so adam reynolds kicking from the back of the scrum on the first tackle a deliberate tactic trying to give his outside flyers a chance to race downfield, but Jesus. it was off the Raiders. Well, you don't see this very often, do you? The charge down there just put his foot out. And luckily, he did, because Malcolm Webster was flying down the middle, was onside, and it would have been a very interesting foot race. It was the boot of Mark Nichols, the back row for the Raiders. So the Rabbitohs get the ball back, and now Junior Vivi. So both these number threes, Drury Low and Vi Vi, involved early. <laughs> this is Josh Mansour. A member of the Toyota Cup Team of the Year is Starling. Goes into his fellow front rower, Mitch Kennedy. Appleton was there as well. And now it's 
Laolu. Both Starling and Laolu named as props six weeks ago, and they've been there ever since. Before that, they hadn't been in the front row this season. As here's a run by Kane Morgan, looking to link up and dies with James Roberts. First glove to the Bunnies, and they split the Raiders easily. It was the run from Kane Morgan, and then the flat ball to his outside man in James Roberts, who is averaging a try per start, and he maintains that. Seven tries now in this, his seventh game. I touched it on a pre-game. They were always going to look to attack from centre field, try to isolate their star centres one-on-one. -on -one. And there we saw Kane Morgan with beautiful footwork and an excellent pass. Very difficult, that pass, to make sure it was onside or it wasn't a forward pass. And he got it there well, but watch this, Morgan, footwork, bang, right-hand fend, turns around, knows his winger is there, executes a terrific pass, and a great start for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. The youngster, James Roberts, he came in when Dylan Farrell was ruled out with that shoulder injury. He's had his reconstruction. Morgan went to the centres, Roberts onto the wing, and those two players, Morgan and Roberts, provide the first points for South Sydney. The last pass... A little bit of a question mark. I was okay with it. I think there was momentum in it. I like the way it came out of the hands. Uh, probably might have gone forward over the ground, but I think there was some momentum in it. And referee, I did notice, was right in good position to make the call. So Adam Reynolds, a dream start for his side. He's kicking them at 71% this season. This should be a gimme and a 6-0 lead to the Rabbitohs. It is the minor premiers with the early running at ANZ Stadium. Doesn't the borough love it? Good to see some South Sydney supporters here bright and early. I know there are plenty more watching on Fox Sports around the country and they would have been pretty happy with this. James Roberts scored multiple tries. He got three late in the season against the Dragons. And one of them was from his own dead ball line. Beat a stack of St George Illawarra players and then raced the length of the field as the mousetrap move comes out early. They've had some tricks. Kennedy Pettiborn over the top of the football, allowing it to be picked up behind by Josh Mansour. We talked about an attacking football game tonight. We've seen already in the space of Seven minutes, a mouse trap, a kick off the first tackle. It's a great attack from a centre field situation. The Bunnies are here to play. David Kidwell, in his first year as coach, giving his players some free reign, a licence, and the kick is a good one from South Sydney. They were looking for a 40 20. Went close. Adam Reynolds urging his players on. They've had a dream start. Just didn't get a hold of it, did he? He struck it pretty well. The winger hadn't dropped back. It was only a fourth tackle kick. Got the bad bounce. The old rugby league football can bounce in many ways. That one didn't get away the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So smart. The man from Gundagai who played for New South Wales Country, he emerged in the Raiders under 20s last year and has been the mainstay this season. Now Sam Mataora, he will need a big game for the Raiders to be a chance. He's tasted NRL this year. And this is Kennedy. His brother Jared Kennedy scored that golden point try to win it for the Raiders in 2008 against Brisbane. And here the green machine is again. One game short of the grand final. Sam Williams dummying, offloading, finding his fullback in Loxley, who loses the ball. And South Sydney will get it straight back. Good defence for the Rabbitohs here. The call was the inside pass. But Sam Williams telegraphed that a little bit too much. They knew it was going back inside. They called it. They had numbers there. Well, they had some opportunities on the outside. He'll keep testing them. He'll test them on the inside, and he'll test them on the outside. Here's Kane Morgan again. A big fend on Drury Lowe, and he comes back the other way. Another fend, two from two, and then he gets upended dangerously. Matty McKilrick was the tackler. Gavin Morris, 
having no hesitation. It looked ugly. In actual time, the replay will show it well. A couple of big fans. It didn't look as bad in replay, to be honest. No, it, was, it wasn't damaging, but he did get lifted in a dangerous position, and the penalty will suffice. Here's Laulu. An interesting move by David Kidwell. He had different players up front for the first two thirds of the competition, and then with six weeks to go, he named Josh Darling and Laulu as his props, and he's stuck with them ever since. So. He has come across a combination he's happy with. And racing up, Matter Aura, trying to put a shot on. He found his mark, maybe not as effectively as he would have originally hoped, but he was enough to make the tackle. That head fake pass from Mundine, and through goes Soalo. Tackled by Murphy and Matter Aura, right on the attack again, South Sydney. Here's Mundine, a little grubber off the feet and diving back athletically. Hayden Hodge at full stretch comes up with possession. Right option for Matt Mundine, poor execution. Just dribbled in a little bit too soft. They're in trouble in the Raiders. They've come out with a few missed tackles, Mundine, the little left foot dab, and the big acrobatic dive for the ball from Hodge. Good play, gets him gets the football back. They've been struggling a bit defensively, the Raiders, and they'll want to complete the set, get a good kick down, try to get some field position. Here's McKilrick, out of acting half. Now Williams on the last. Splits the men at the back for South Sydney, but it bounces towards Malcolm Webster. And he comes back to their seventh forward, Josh Mansour. So strong all year. He's represented Lebanon in the European Cup. He's done a great job representing South Sydney. Here he is again. A willing worker, certainly. And one of the... Experienced players in this team as South Sydney draw another penalty. Their second of the game. Yeah, yeah, will do. Two nil in their favour. The count. Well, they're doing it easy. The Rabbitohs. They're getting the go forward, and this is where this penalty's come. Sam Williams knew that they were getting plenty of momentum, and his hand on the ball, a little bit of working. The call came from the touch judge. A good penalty. But they're resorting to extra tactics to try and slow this Rabbitohs side because they're just doing a little bit easy on their go forward. Laulu plays it. And now they go with some width again through Mundine out to Webster. They had men over. The shortened defence was a, enough to cut it off. Here's Vi Vi. Quick hands from Webster there would have made it interesting. Here's Mundine coming once. This time he offloads to Starling. Peaks. As a crack, couldn't get away from Loxley or Appleton. Pettyborn distributes to Mundine again along the ground into the in-goal area, and Loxley has to have a play at it. Kane Morgan was right on top of him, and South Sydney force a repeat set. They are clearly dominant at the moment. They are playing as you'd expect the minor premiers to play. A lot better kick from Matt Mundine. That one had the correct weight. Not too big to go over the dead ball, but not too short where it didn't reach the try line. Back-to-back -back set of six for the Rabbitohs and just some smart football from probably the most experienced man out in the field there, Matt Mundine, with 64 tie out of cup games under his belt, is the most experienced man running around there. Here's Laulu with a head of steam. He wound up. Never looked like putting a step on. But the defence of McCurick and Murphy was up to it. Here's... Kennedy Pettyborn, the cousin of Eddie Pettyborn. But they spell their surnames differently, if you can work that out. Here's Starling. Gets within eight metres of the Raiders' goal line. Peets across to Mundine. Back inside for Vivi. Junior Vivi! He crashes over. The ball popped up, but this will be the second try for South Sydney if it is passed by Paul Simpkins. They look dazed, the Raiders. They are already sucking in the big breaths. And that appears a legal put down. That's all right. That's a bang. Slam dunk, we call that. Come out of the side of the hand. I'm pretty sure we'll get the green light for that. And, well, aren't they centres just dominating the play out there when they get the opportunity? 
That one doesn't look real good from that angle. But I'm pretty sure Paul Simpkins will give the green light for that one. Well, the ruling is unless there is separation That's between correct. hand and ball before the put down, that will be a try. And I can't see separation. The finger's still in contact. Maybe the ball was coming loose, but had it come loose by the time it hit the deck. No, there's no separation. The try there for the Rabbitohs. And, and a good try too. Well orchestrated play. Matt Mundine just directing play on this left hand side. Went to the right, got himself a repeat set of that little kick on the in goal. Then on the back of that, came down the left channel. First off the ruck, the dummy on the outside. Valvey on the angle on the inside. Just too big and too strong. And it's, it's both centres now. And the two tries have just had great evasion, great footwork, and great strength and speed to orchestrate South Sydney's first two tries. Yep, the four, Morgan, the three, Vi Vi. We are out to 10 0 inside the first 15 minutes. Adam Reynolds lining up as Kenny Nagus lays down the law. We remember him wearing green not the blue trainers jumper and wasn't he an excitement machine the raiders need someone like him in the under 20s right now so he's giving some good instructions there's a lot of a lot of nodding which i think is good if you were a coach and you're seeing your trainer go out there and heads are down and they're nodding not listening to what the trainer is saying and not understanding but there, there's the nods there so that's still good signs of the raiders 238 points so far this season for Adam Reynolds, make it 240. He's been on song all season. 12 tries, 96 goals now, and Johnny Lang looking on. He is a relaxed customer, Johnny Lang. You have to say that he's under 20s mentor, and David Kidwell is just as relaxed. He was a relaxed customer because his season's over. <laughs> I can tell you, I worked with John for four years. Very intense character. Great coach, great, great person. And he'd be, like you said, a big great mentor. I, I learned so much from John on how to handle players, how to handle situations, and how, you know, that coaching is all about what you can give to the players in direction and not about, not about overdoing it. Yeah, the missed tackles stat telling the story 13 to 2 against the Raiders. As Han Garner has another crack at this defensive line. Defence has been the problem for Canberra this season. They did hold North Queensland to 18 points last week, but there was only three worst defensive sides in the competition than Canberra at the end of the regular season. And that kick from Mundine finds its mark. Yet they were averaging, or are averaging, 30 points per game given away. So it's those defensive problems that will have to be fixed this week if they get to next week. Well, it's got to be fixed. Or they've got to score more tries. That's one thing or other. If, if, you know, you've got poor defensive deficiencies in your team, you've got to look to what, what those problems are. Get yourself in a position, make the tackles one-on-one, on one, nice or attack the football and score more tries. And they haven't had an opportunity to do that because they're two for two because they're making too many tackles. Missing tackles means that, oh, as the push comes on, there's an old John Lang favourite. The old shove nearly came off. John Long, Lang favourite and a Brian Smith favourite in the first week of NRL finals as Drury Lowe doing some work. Centre field. Now Matt Aura runs into Soolo and Petty Bourne. He's tried to muscle up defensively, Sam Matt Aura. And here's the first penalty of the game to Canberra. It's up here. Just back to Canberra's defensive woes they have scored 14 more tries in south sydney this season but the killer is they've conceded 40 more tries it's too many isn't it it's, oh, and i'm sure david hamilton is aware of that i'm sure the side is and when you come up against the south sydney side with so many attacking guns especially the devastating centers that they have you've got to make sure you're controlling the middle you don't want them coming at you when you're on the back foot here's kennedy Mitchell Kennedy within eight metres. So Canberra's best attacking opportunity of this game. McKilrick across field, went flat to Appleton and had the ball stripped. Both ways, boys. 
So a knock on against Canberra. The first ruling, South Sydney will come up with the ball. I thought it was stripped, but Gavin Morris close to the action, ruling that it was lost forward. Well, a poor error, wasn't it? Second tackle on the back of a penalty. First time they've really been down here. First time they've been able to apply pressure to the Rabbitohs goal line, and they come up with an error. You can see shaking his head there. Seems to drop the ball, ricocheted out. And it's well, disappointing for the Raiders. They, they needed to get points, as we talked about their defence. You're not defending well, you need to score tries to put some pressure on your opposition. So, an error straight away from Kane Morgan will give Canberra the chance they so desperately crave. Sam Williams slow back to his feet. It was to play the ball from Kane Morgan. But had a problem in the eyes of Gavin Morris. And still, Williams struggles for composure in back play. Now, this looked like an awkward bump to Williams. Yeah, yeah. The incident also involving the dodgy play the ball. He's just got his head on the right side. Got a nice little uh, forearm for it. Looks like the Raiders foot came through there and knocked that ball out that uh, was missed. He's a bit groggy, Sam Williams. Copped the knock, caught the hip, and then copped a bit of a forearm for a little bit of dessert over the top. Rabbitohs at 80% completions. The Raiders at 50. And the pass from Sam Williams was as sick as he feels right now. But Kane Morgan unlucky to have that ruling go against him. It was the foot of a Raider. He did the right thing and held the ball up and tried to play it legally. Hayden Hodge caught flat-footed. So after a bit of bad luck, South Sydney forced to defend on their own goal line. Here's Smart. Goes to Kennedy. He ran into Starling. And Mundine. Here's McCurick out of acting half and he twists over for a soft dummy half try. They needed to score next to the Raiders and they have. Out of acting half where Matt McCurick is a specialist. Use that word soft. Soft for the Rabbitohs, not for the Raiders. They set themselves up. They had numbers around the defensive line. You can see there the 20 Pettiborn just sat back on the try line. He's needed to get up off the line and make that tackle. You see there he goes up and stops, waits back, his connection, a good hit and spin by the hook of McIlwick. Very smart little bit of play. And they needed to come away with points. They got down here last, or they were here before, came up with an error. They needed to come away with points because defensively they've been a bit weak. And I'll tell you, the Rabbitohs there, that was pretty soft as well. Well, Matty McIlwick named in the junior Kiwis train-on squad to play the junior Kangaroos and interestingly both the coaches today will coach their junior national teams David Kidwell in charge of the junior Kiwis David Hamilton in charge of the junior Kangaroos so they're opponents today and they will be again throughout October when they meet twice in New Zealand here is Metcalf with the conversion attempt struck it nicely sneaks it inside the left hand upright and we are back to a six point ball game that a crucial hit back for the men from Canberra. Yeah, David Kibble will be a bit disappointed too. First time their line's been tested. They, did, they were all right the first set of six. Go up with an error, probably a, an unlucky call. But you've got to get unlucky calls in a game of football. You've got to fire up defensively. You've got to adjust to your setback. Setback's going to happen in a game of rugby league. And you can't control them. What you can control is the way you defend. And they didn't defend well enough then. Well, maybe making David Kidwell a little bit happier is that we've just passed the 20-minute mark, and traditionally, the first 20 minutes have been the Rabbitohs' poorest period of the game. And alternatively, the first 20 has been Canberra's best. So the Rabbitohs have survived that statistic and find themselves ahead by a converted try. Here's Murphy. Just short of his 40-metre line. He's smart. Matter Aura. Just get the feeling that Matter Aura has to have a big game today for the Raiders to be a chance. There are big willing forwards in the Rabbitohs pack. And if Canberra can answer that, match it and challenge it, then that man who has tasted NRL will have to be good again. Smart, a torpedo bomb out towards the youngster. Roberts who let it bounce and it bounces back in field awkwardly. Now he has a second crack at it, Roberts, and comes away with it. Well, that was lucky. 
Lucky for the, the Rabbitohs. It looked like it was going out. Spiral bomb. Looked like it was going. A really interesting, that set of six. The Raiders, they worked up the middle. They saw Matt Mundine in that middle. They made him do every tackle. There's the kick there. Just short of the sideline. Bang. There's another bat. Bounce. You never let the football bounce. But like I said, really interesting. They made Matt Mundine make every tackle. They're trying to fatigue him, trying to take him out of the equation. Not a noted defender. His attacking game is his strike. And he'll be having a blow this set of six, that's for sure. And James Roberts, his heart would have skipped a beat when he saw it bounce and then go back in field. The ball sits up again, this time for the Raiders. And Loxley is pushed into touch, so the Rabbitohs will get the ball back straight away, deep in enemy territory. What a big play defensively. The chase was good, and then determination forced Loxley into touch. Well, it, it, it's a cardinal sin. You go into a tackle, you step towards the try line. You've already created some sort of momentum for the defenders to hit and then follow through with that momentum. Loxley, right foot step. The Rabbitohs said, thank you very much. Hit him, drove him, and get possession back. Well, the Bunnies going to the bench as Webster goes to Mundine. He was a member of the team of the year in 2008. Here's Webster. Got to watch Malcolm Webster light on his feet. He can turn a half break into a yawning gap if you're not very careful as Starley. Again, centre field, 10 out. Just where they want to be, the Rabbitohs. Across field through Reynolds now. Quick hands from Morgan to Roberts and a double for the winger. They went to the same side that worked for the first try, and now they have a third try. Morgan to Roberts, it is repetitive. Well set up, well executed try. Very, very well done. Watch this pass here, a long pass. They had the decoy, Webster was coming in, and Drury Lowe thought that Webster was kind of leaking, he came around, but he was a decoy. The ball was always going to Morgan, the strike, and again, shown how good he is with the football and the way he can catch and pass at speed. Not easy to do. Not easy to do, and he did that well, very well. We were praising Kane Morgan in the pre-game show for the amount of tries he has scored today. He has two assists, and the beneficiary, James Roberts. Look at his strike rate. Eight tries now in this his seventh game. And the good thing about James Roberts, on both of those tries, he hasn't overrun it. His positioning has been good. You see wingers too many times get up flat. A running pass is very hard to pass backwards. So you, you've got to enable the running, the passer, to be able to execute right so it doesn't go forward. And Roberts twice now has been in excellent position for him to get over the try line. Sam Williams dishing out some instructions. They worked hard to get back in the game after falling down 12-0. But again... They risk falling behind by 12. If Adam Reynolds can continue his perfect record, two from two today. So Reynolds goes through his routine. Kick three from three late in the game against the Gold Coast, and he has three from three early in this contest. Out by 12 points as a couple of famous Rabbitohs look on. Johnny Lang, the NRL coach, and Mario Fennec, who was a part of that 1989 minor premiership team. He'll be pumped up, Mario. He'll, I think he would have given a little bit of guidance. I'm sure David Kidwell would use his knowledge, his spirit that he has. There's no bigger bunny. Going around the Mario Fennec, is there? He will be celebrating in the dressing room with them, no doubt, if they go on with this job. And book a date against the Warriors. Tomorrow week, they'll be back here for the NRL Grand Final if they hold on. And the penalty count is helping them. 3-1. In favour of the minor premiers, Sam Matora. The guilty party for the Raiders. We well, don't want to be giving them piggybacks. Every time South has got in to the Raiders' 20 metre zone, they've either come away with points or a repeat set. That's not where the Raiders want to be playing football and giving away cheap penalties or soft penalties like that. Only really shoot yourself in the foot. This is Manson. 
Hanson and Tulemau coming off the bench and giving David Kidwell plenty of go forward. Now dummy and go. That was Brendan McKinnon. They go the same side that's worked for them already. Pete's gets close. A tackle from McCool, it was crucial. Chopped him down on the spot. And again, they have a crack out of acting half. And the goal line defence stops them. Are there more points coming for the Rabbitohs? Across through Reynolds, now Mundine. He chips for the corner, looking for Josh Mansour, who times his run and went up, came down with it, and looks to have scored a try. Josh Mansour. He didn't time the jump properly, but still the ball ended up in his grasp. And Josh Mansour believes he has extended South Sydney's lead. Well, he got there. He was up there. He came up with the ball. After it got down, we'll have a look to see what's on. I go through the, the same protocol. Everyone's okay. Well, it's good about Matt Mundine too. It set them up quite well. There was going to attack, but on the last tackle went high. And Saul goes up. A little juggle there. And no. Well, the put down oh, came yeah. after the knock on, in my opinion. I just don't think you give this. Came down there, balls come through. You'd have to think it would have touched his arm somewhere on the way through, and if it's touched his arm, it's a knock on. Paul Simpkins is somewhere the video there. referee. Yeah, touches his arm, and I just I just can't give that try as far as I'm concerned. Well, Stuart Raper has been a regular in the video referee's box during the NRL finals. Are you right? No try, spot on, Stuart Raper. 20. Josh Mansour denied. The juggle happened in front of the body. We didn't see that in actual time. The replay showed it perfectly. Well, he got up there, didn't he? He competed for the ball, had every opportunity. Got up in front of his opposite. And Chris Medcalf was, was really in, in a poor position with his back to Julian Allen. The sentence he was always, oh, not Julian Allen, I should say, on um, Mansour. And he had all the momentum, just didn't collect the football. Here's Papali playing the ball. He's come off the interchange bench. He's very good against North Queensland. And here's Nichols through a hole. Mark Nichols inside to Sean Loxley. They survive at one end and score at the other. The Green Machine fight back instantly. 18-6. It should be 18-10. I can't see a problem with that one. But again, we've gone to Paul Simpkins. I think we're going to have a look at the grounding. Obviously, there's no kick involved. The play there. Ooh, I tell you, he's still got possession of the football. I think we're going to get a try out of this. And there it is there. Hits the ground. Still in possession of the football. Nearly made a mill of it. Good defence there. Come from behind was Kane Morgan. Nearly stopped the try. I'd like to think the green light is going to come from this. Let's see what the decision is. Well, hasn't the video referee been friendly to the Raiders? A green light for the green machine. They survived a close call at one end, courtesy Paul Simpkins, and now instantly they score at the other. Smart play there by Sam Williams. The last time they went to the line, he had the fullback in Loxley on his inside. This time, he went out wide. He dragged the defenders in, he showed the ball inside. The big back rower in Nichols, just striding there, did well two on one. And locks it up, up the middle, who had been supporting down the centre as a good fullback should, and a well executed try. Put that down to Sam Williams there. He he foxed the Rabbitohs. They thought they were going back inside there again where they come up with an error, but he was smart and hit the fringe back rower, running a great line. Well, Chris Metcalf, like Adam Reynolds, also already passed 250 points for the season. There are two more, and we are back to six points the difference. We have become accustomed to thrillers in this Droider Cup finals campaign. Are we seeing the early stages of another one? Here's Nichols inside to Loxley. And he got there just. He nearly got him, Kane Morgan. He's trying to slap that ball down. We've seen that happen a few times. Didn't see him coming, Loxley. Ball got down. And they're hanging in this game, the Raiders. They are hanging in. They're not dominating but they keep themselves within striking distance of the Rabbitohs. Here's Papali. 
it was McKinnon right around the boot laces, affecting the tackle. And a much bigger man as Thomas comes off his wing. Now McEurick comes to Cullen. David Hamilton chose to start with Michael Cullen last week. This time he leaves him on the bench. As Papali has another run. And the ball is lost. Forward by Papali. It was cleaned up by Smart. In fact, it looks like James Smart is the man who has come up with the error after an offload. This replay will show it. Yep, the intentional offload from Papali. Couldn't be taken cleanly in South Sydney with another chance. You don't want... After a try score, to give the opposition a leg up, they've already got their heads down. Now that gives them the opportunity with the heads up. Junior Viva gets away and gets the ball away. Can Malcolm Webster get away? No, chopped down nine metres short. He is a flyer, but the Raiders were right on top of him. Mansour, a cross field, tucks it back inside to Tulemau. And Tulemau gets within four metres. McKinnon straight into acting half. Threat to come the short side goes open through Mundine. Now Reynolds across to Han Garner. He straightens and bumps away. They lose ground on that play. Starting here, 15 out. This is Jake Shearer. The offload comes through Peets again to Han Garner, who straightens and offloads. Finds Reynolds and Reynolds reaches out to score. They just kept attacking, they kept asking questions. And eventually, the Raiders failed to provide the defensive answer. Adam Reynolds. He's not big, but he's tall enough to reach out and score after Junior Vivi. And Malcolm Webster put them right on the attack. Well, they set, set this up from the scrum one on one. They're very dangerous. It was a very simple setup. A good offload with wide to Hangana and a good ball on the inside to Reynolds. Had a bit of work to do. But it comes back, David uh, David Hamilton would be wanting to get to his players at half time. They're giving them opportunities. As we see Reynolds getting over the line and, and the Rabbitohs are pretty happy, but they're just give, giving them opportunities. That, that, they're enabling him to get in the round 20 metres and they're always coming away with points, the Rabbitohs. And they can't afford to be doing that. They're just either simple, silly penalties or simple errors. After scoring a try, they come up with an error in a set of six. What happens? Rabbitohs score. You'll be getting the message out, and also be getting a hold of these guys at half time and relaying those that message to them. Well, the Raiders are lucky to still be in this game because their completion rate is six from eleven, and they've spent sixty-three percent of this first half in their own half. So they have been their own worst enemies. Errors and penalties. There's Josh Darling. Sends a little. What? Message out to someone out there. <laughs> what message was that? They usually put their their goals or something like that or what they've got to do. I think it was something else. He probably doesn't want to get tattoos, so he just wrote it on his bandage. Well, Adam Reynolds isn't afraid to get some tattoos from arms to neck and who knows where in between. Here he is shooting for two more points. And he's making a mark on the scoreboard like the tattoo has on his arms and legs. And Nick. Good offload there by Shearer. He got there on that angle play and good little offload on the inside. Bit of work to do. Their, their execution is very good, South. When they put on their little plays, their line running, their offloads, it's all very clinical. There's, there's nothing clumsy, there's nothing lucky about it. It's all well executed. All the stuff that you do on the training paddock is getting uh, they're coming to fruition on the football field. Well, a willing return from South Sydney. Sent Matter Aura backpedalling. And Solo plays it, and McKinnon comes to that man again. Tool him out. A big return from the kickoff, and he wants some more. And we are at better than a point per minute. 36 points scored as we close in on 35 minutes. We've had some low scoring finals, apart from two of them. The other scores in the teens and 20s, but at this rate, we are set for a high scoring preliminary final this evening. The kick from the Rabbitohs towards the in goal, and 
A lot of work here to do for Metcalf. So all the races through. There are five Rabbitohs there, and that's some determination. Pinning Canberra in goal, and Metcalf will be forced to come across for the restart. Now that left foot, Matt Mundine again. Just waited to perfection. He's put in a couple of great kicks today, and this is another one where he gets a restart. Bang, whacks it in, hits under the ball. So it doesn't roll end over end, doesn't roll over the dead ball. And he had plenty of work to do. He was never getting out. Look at them all. They're all jumping on board. Plenty of enthusiasm by the Rabbitohs. They want some more points before half time. As this time Nansen winds up. Nansen and Tulamau are like clones. And they're miserable clones if you're a Canberra fan because they are strong and determined off the bench and causing plenty of damage. Here's a dummy straight up the middle easily. And over goes Nathan Peets. It opened up like Sydney heads and he steamed through like a P&O cruiser. Well, everyone took the dummy. I think even the referee took the dummy. Thought the ball was going, but Peets just ran a great line and on the back of a back-to-back -back set of six. There it is there, runs the line, the big dummy. And the Raiders mark is just split, overplayed the hand. Fullback was really, had no chance there. Both the subs for the Raiders in Papali and Baker just fell for it. No golden rule, the man with the ball. He's the one you defend, let him pass. Don't worry about someone else tackling him. This is, this is a pretty crucial try for the Rabbitohs and for the Raiders. It just gives him a kick away in this game. So South Sydney score their fifth try of the game. The Raiders have completed six sets. They've almost scored as many tries as the Raiders have completed tackles of six. It's a simple game, isn't it? Stats sometimes can be deceiving. Sometimes they can be on the button. Today, they are right there because it's showing if you don't complete your football game or the football, you are going to be in trouble, and that's what they are at the moment. 16 points down, possibly going to 18 points behind. Well, Adam Reynolds is having a day out. A try, four from four with a boot already. This for five from five before the break. It's like a video replay. The flags are up again, and it is now 30 to 12. 18 points the difference, a long way back for Canberra. And you have to say that this is the score we feared for Canberra fans. He's a handy player, Pete, isn't he? He's the big M or whatever that is. I've seen that a couple of times. I've got no idea. My son does it, but I don't know what it is. But he's a handy player, Pete. Starts off with a hooker, goes back. A utility roll in the back row there. And He's got a good running game as well as some smart dummy half work. And David Kidwell utilizes oh, that. Oh, big hit! Oh, it came in from Papali on Jacob Nansen. So they won't go away without a fight, the Raiders, if this is an indication. Oh, they both lined each other up. It was a game of chicken, wasn't it? <laughs> the only thing was, we didn't have a chicken. <laughs> Pete's kicks. Roosters played last night. Yes, congratulations to the Roosters fans and their excited Chief Chook, Aaron Wallace. He may or may not be sitting beside me keeping the statistics. I'm sure his mind or part of it is still at Suncorp Stadium. As Hayden Hodge comes back to Michael Cullen. It'll be a big week for the boys from Bondi. And maybe the South Sydney Rabbitohs at Redfern in the under-20s. They haven't been to a grand final, South Sydney, since 1989. And they won a third-grade premiership. It's been a long time between drinks, 21 years. They are on their way here this evening as Matt Aura goes to a very skinny short side and Hayden Hodge who had to kick back in field who was picked up magnificently by who else but Adam Reynolds we're smart there from Adam Reynolds the smart halfbacks will always tuck in behind it was a tough one 
going down that side of when your fullback is committed, that cross kick back inside as Webster just kicks the ball out to wind the clock down and take it into half time. We spoke to Johnny Lang before kickoff and said that the Raiders had a dangerous half in Sam Williams. And his immediate reply was, well, don't worry, we've got a good half too. And they certainly have Adam Reynolds. He's scored a try, he's kicked five from five. And it has been a commanding first half from the minor premiers. Defensively, they've had a question mark over them all season. And it is still hovering ominously because they've given up 30 points in the first half. They've been averaging 30 points against them per game this season. Not good enough if you want to be a premiership team. Somehow their attack has been good enough to leave them in the final four of this competition, or technically final three, given that we said goodbye last night to the Bulldogs. Matt McKilrick, he's tried his hardest. Plenty of tackles, four hit-ups. He's been good out of acting half, as he usually is. But let's face it, Rabbitohs have been better. And Nathan Peets, the son of Geordie Peets, who... Stuart Raper, you spent a bit of time playing alongside. He's a crafty hooker, as uh, Nathan is. He showed in that try that he scored in the first half. Very good knowledge of the game. And, uh, he'll still be instrumental in what they do in the back end of this second half. Will there be any sort of fight back from the Raiders, or are we set for a South Sydney smasher? Something they have done a number of times this season. They finished with the minor premiership by a solitary point. They won in the first week of finals to book tonight's date. And now they can see the biggest game of the season. The grand final against the Warriors who are already there and waiting. So Olo plays it for Mansour to have a run. And again... A stubborn run, still going, Josh Mansour. That sums up his season. Just when he thought he was going to be tackled with an eight or nine metre gain, he doubles the advantage and takes another eight or nine. The last here is McKinnon. Comes a short side to Reynolds along the ground. Back there, Loxley set up for him. What would David Hamilton have told his troops at half time? Is there any way for the Raiders to hit back? Yeah, there is some way. I mean, he would get down to the basics of why they are behind on the scoreboard. And one of the main reasons, obviously, is defence, but it's the way that they're letting the, the Rabbitohs into their own territory. It's not through so much of the Rabbitohs' good work, but some of the poor execution of either silly penalties, drop balls from the Raiders. He'll be looking to simplify their football, coming out of their territory, getting some field position. They get some field position, they'll get some points. They've already they've been down there two or three times, come away with two tries. So they know they can score when they're down there. It's not giving the Rabbitohs a leg up when they've got the football. Sam Williams' kick is charged down. Back to clean it up. The tackle count restarting, so the Raiders. A little bit of fortune early in the second half. You get the feeling they need a ton of it. If Michael Cullen emerges from a pack of green jumpers, he's Mataora. It's to halfway. I'd love the first try of this second half just to breathe some life into them. And that's a good run. From Josh Papali. Smart. Across to Williams. Behind Kennedy to Drew Relo. Puts a skip on and loses possession as he came to ground. Appealed for the strip. But luckily for the Raiders, Michael Thomas was more intent on tackling James Roberts. And now the Bunnies get a penalty. Some smart football there by Kane Morgan. Saw that the winger was offside, went that short side, getting the penalty. Well, I think he's, he's got every right to probably have a bit of a complaint, Jury Lowe. That's a penalty every day of the week. That is a penalty, attacking the football. And uh, as you said before, Matt, they need a bit of luck. They didn't get it there. Now Shearer. And the chase by Michael Thomas on James Roberts was crucial because Roberts was away. Here's McKinnon almost away. Dragged down from behind by Matt McCurick. Now Peets through Reynolds, Mundine. Those three names have combined often and well this season. Dancing across field, still they come. It was Soolo. 
playing his 25th game of the season. He's only missed one, Soolo. Reynolds along the ground, picked up by Adrian Hahn Garner, and this should be a try. The first of the second half to South Sydney. And from here, it could get very, very ugly. It could, Matt, it could. A very simple, basic try for the Rabbitohs. The, the kick was good. Reynolds put his arm out. It's gone to the video ref, so we're having a look at it. There's the kick. Everyone's on side, so that's not a problem. Williams couldn't take Williams, it. Yeah, no, it was it just hard one for him, and he knows the importance of that error. It's just going to be too far. There it is, just snatched at it. And the back rower hung. Gana picks it up and salutes. I think we're going to see a green light. He won't score too many easier tries than that one, will he? Pick it up and fall over. Didn't have to do much. But that is the worst possible start to the second half for Canberra. Some bad luck and a South Sydney try. And if they thought it was a big gap already, it's about to be a whole lot bigger. It is 34-12. And the way that Adam Reynolds is kicking them, about to be 36-12. You just wonder how much... That game against the Cowboys took out of the Raiders. They haven't been defending well. Probably wasn't defensive cost in that try, but they got in this position fairly easy, the Rabbitohs. They worked the football up. They were making easy yards. They're setting up really well, the Rabbitohs. And because they're isolating them one-on-one, -on -one, it makes it very difficult to dominate defensively. And they're spreading their defenders. The Raiders' defenders are spreading. They're making easy yards up the middle. Once they suck them in, they're hitting the fringes, and they're in trouble again. It's pretty smart play by the Rabbitohs. It's making it very tough for the Raiders. There are some beaten looks on the faces of the Raiders. They'll be saying all the positive right things, but maybe in the back of their minds, they know that against the minor premiers, a well-oiled, slick machine like the Rabbitohs, they could be looking at an ugly score in this second half. So Adam Reynolds, 100% this evening. And he stays at 100%. Six from six. He kicks three from three in the second half against the Gold Coast. So do the math and work out that he is in good form. He might not miss another goal all season, the way he's been striking them. Adrian Hahn Garner, the try scorer. He's back next year for the Bundys, but most of them aren't as Shearer returns. It is one of the most experienced Toyota Cup teams we've ever seen. They've tallied nearly 700 games between them. The 17 South Sydney players this evening. Most of them moving on to an older age group next year. Not eligible again for the under 20s. So it will be a rebuilding year, but before they get to that, they want to celebrate 2010. That's right. And it, it shows in the way they play the football, that experience. Uh, we've seen Toyota Cup sides over the years that, that don't have that experience. They lose their way sometimes. Their execution falls down. Oh, it's a dangerous pass here goes with the Raiders. But the Rabbitohs, their shape is always good. Their execution is good. They, they pick and choose the right side and the right play to put on at certain times. And that's just... That comes about from the experience they've got in this side. They know where their strike is, and they go to them at the right time. Metcalf blasting a heavy tackle. And the kill comes across to Mata or outside to Papali, working on the fringe. And still, South Sydney numbering up in the tackles, four and five involved where necessary. They want to compete until the very end. Here's Drury Lowe. Couldn't get away from Kane Morgan. Thomas goes infield to Williams. He goes to the air. High above Malcolm Webster, who comes forward now and comes down with it. He's the smallest man on the paddock, but he stood tall then. He had no right to come down with that ball, but he did. Great take. Eyes only for the football. The All the good football uh, fullbacks, I should say. Just focus on the football. You don't worry about the chases. You don't worry about taking the shot. It's no fear. I've got to take this for the team. That's my job. I'm the fullback. I've got to catch the ball on the fall. And Webster did that beautifully then. 
There are players in the competition who you just enjoy watching week in, week out. And Malcolm Webster is one of them. He made last year's team of the year. The kick from the Rabbitohs almost finding the sideline in the 20 meter area. But Loxley is a cross field. Thought about offloading. So the kick there was dangerous for the Canberra Raiders, but they get to it just in time. And now Thomas plays it for Midcalf to come on. Looks like Canberra just going to throw caution to the win and hurl this ball around as they play with some width again out to Drury Low. The skip got away from Morgan, but not Han Garner or Reynolds. William to Smart. Here's a straightening Matawara. This is the last. McCurick out of acting half. Now to Williams. Behind to Drury Low, who doubles back. Drury Low. It's the ball away and finds Reynolds, who goes to Webster. Webster, the master of broken field running, loses it as he was thrown to the ground and plays eventually called back. Roberts was away, but the ball went forward out of Webster's hands. Which takes me back to the point I was originally stating. He's a player you just enjoy watching. And throw caution to the win there, Raiders. Run the football on the last, but Webster on the spot, supporting from the pass. Looks like he's trying to offload there. Good call there from Gavin Morris, or the touch he's called that. Came out, came forward. And they are a side that continue attack. They, like, as I said, they play smart, but they're willing to attack from any position in the football field when there's an opportunity. And you've got to like football sides that back their ability to be able to do that. I think we're going to see one tonight after this game in the West Tigers. Here's Matt Aura. And that a stubborn run. We've seen a great emergence of under 20s as McCurick has a crack. From Canberra's under 20s to their NRL team, Sam Mataora has already made that step, as has Drury Low. Now Hayden Hodge gets the ball away and it's been dropped out wide by Michael G. Cam and Josh Mansour turns defence into attack before Hayden Hodge came to him. They've lost all confidence, the Raiders. That play there, no one knew what they're doing, no one knew what their role was. Williams was standing there waiting for someone to come under him. Hodge did that. They passed to the right hand side. He came up with an error, and the confidence is shot. A tough first touch from Michael G. Cam is now South Sydney go to their outside flyers. Here's Kane Morgan. We had 48 points scored, and we're just past the 50 minute mark. For the main part, the under 20s finals have been fantastic. High quality thrillers is an astute kick from the Rabbitohs finds the corner post. Corner post, boys. 20. So the corner post classed as an extension of the in goal area. As a result, we'll head back to the 20 meter line for a restart. I thought it was going to roll into touch just prior to the post. Now Nichols. Giving recognition, Mark Nichols at the 20s presentation evening, or Canberra's presentation evening, for his solid showing for the Raiders this season. Here's Matawara. Now Williams. Nichols again. I'm sure. But David Kidwell will want his side to defend in preparation for the grand final. It's no use slipping up now in defence and learning some bad habits before the biggest game of the season next weekend. Well, you've got to do that. It's all right about scoring tries. Everyone likes scoring tries, but getting basing your game on those fundamentals of defence and your kick and chase. And he'll want to finish off that way. Points for and against don't, do not matter in semi-finals. It's how you perform. He'll want them going in. Knowing they had 15 days break, He'll be keeping some of their big men on a little bit longer. He'll be trying to run them into a bit of fitness. So he won't probably see as many rotations in their interchange as probably what he would normally do. So he'll be trying to run them into a bit of football and making sure that they 
have that foundation of their game, which is their defence, their completion rate, and as I said, their kick and chase. Mundine, the inside ball for Josh Starling. A man from Wollongong and Illawarra Sports High who played for Helensburg and now he's at South Sydney. A kick charge down and cheek cam with his second touch. The ball is back in South Sydney's possession now. Michael Cheek Cam's had an unhappy arrival into this game. No sooner did he have it than it was lost. Here's Mansour. Pete's out of acting half allowed to run. And they're chasing more points. Webster across through Reynolds, now Mundine. Does a little step. It's part of the NRL squad next year for South Sydney. They might start the year with McKinnon now having a go out of acting half and working his way over the goal line. Brendan McKinnon off the interchange bench and into the action has scored four more points. They hit 40 and will set their sights on a half century. He said the Raiders need to trade caution in the win and come up with an error again, which goes, gives the Rabbitohs field position. It's just simple, good evasion, kept low, good dummy half, good hooker try. Not great defensively, obviously. But some smart football and there'll be a... I think one interested observer over the ditch watching this game, John Ackland, the Warriors coach. He'll have the pen going a million miles an hour, jotting down certain notes about the South Sydney side. You, you mark a defence on two very smart hookers. Your fringe defence on two smart halves. And your wide defence on two very efficient centres. And he'll be already devising a plan to nullify those players. Already with the grand final in mind. Jacob Nansen has been taken from the field and given that they are removing the strapping, I wonder whether we'll see Jacob back at any stage this evening. I want him fit and firing in the grand final. Adam Reynolds, can he keep this kicking display going? Six from six. Neither kicker has missed today, but most of them have been via the boot of Adam Reynolds. Seven from seven. There is Dylan Farrell with his shoulder in the sling. He won't play again this season, but he will be back next year. Sitting upright and attentive in the background there. Mario. Nearly got a smile on Mario there. There's a Mario look-alike. <laughs> Malcolm Webster fields the kickoff. They will look to turn on some exciting attack now at South Sydney while avoiding straying from the defensive rules that have served them well this year. David Kibble, you see a penalty, just a strip coming in from the Raiders side. They're, they're trying anything, but David Kibble, as we saw with Danson off the field, will be not only looking to, there's Matt Cooper, with his little boy, it looks like. Well, it's hard to tell, but he's there. Very important for the Dragons this afternoon. But David Kidd will be looking at his team and not only trying to get the football, but making sure if there's any any small injuries, any injuries, especially to his key players, he might want to be overdoing it and making them unavailable for next week. South Sydney's completion rate outstanding. 25 from 29. And as good as it is, Canberra is, is bad, 10 from 19. Just a smidgen above 50%. Mundine, dummies and has a crack. He's picked up, put down. Now Reynolds. He's had a big game already with a try and seven goals. He'll be a man that he's talked about in New Zealand, no doubt, John Ackland devise a way to minimise his effectiveness. The kick at Crossfield, there are three Rabbitohs there. One of them has to come down with it, but instead it's Hayden Hodge held 
by the coattails. Now to Metcalf, and he continues to carry forward. Still going Metcalf. Will this be a wonder try? A consolation for the Raiders. Eventually, he's rounded up by the Rabbitohs. It was started by Hodge, continued by Metcalf. And now Cheekam. Hodge across through Smart. Now Williams has a man inside but goes outside and finds who else but Roberts. They won't catch James Roberts. Show us your speed, James. Pin him back and go all the way. Celebrate early if you like because here comes four more points. It'll be six when sharpshooter Adam Reynolds lines up. He has three now this afternoon. James Roberts. He's good to watch in full flight, the youngster in this already young under 20s lineup. Well, this has come on the back of a Raiders break. Hodge pinned his ears back. The football out to Metcalf. Great with a little away. And then the tackle there. And saw that the opportunity was on the left hand side. Sam Williams throws the ball really a no look pass very dangerous on a long ball and this guy again James Roberts I talk about him being in the right position and, and leading up to those other tries and not overrunning the football he was certainly in the right position there to read the pass anticipate they had numbers coming at them they were in a bit of trouble he came in at the right time saw the ball was in the air took the opportunity and showed a clean pair of heels his second hat-trick for the season. He hasn't played a lot of games. This is the seventh, already up to nine tries. He scored three against the Dragons. He's got three against the Raiders. They gave up 54 points in the first week of finals, Canberra. They are in real danger of giving up even more in the third week. They will wish they can play every game at Canberra Stadium. After last week in chilly conditions and urged on by a big crowd ending North Queensland season but they've been off the pace here this afternoon in the fourth minute when South Sydney scored they've been two very different teams eight from eight and counting for Adam Reynolds and they've come up against a pretty red hot Rabbitohs side I don't think the Warriors will be giving them as many opportunities as what the Raiders have done tonight Rabbitohs, as Dave Kidwell, still shouting out instructions. What he talked about what he will be wanting out of this site in the last 20 minutes. And he's got them well drilled. And they're executing everything really well. Coming up. And, and the Raiders just don't have any answers for it. Han Garner, the man with possession. We saw David Kidwell still shouting instructions. He had a long and decorated career. In the NRL for New Zealand. In his first year as a coach, he's collected the minor premiership and will make the grand final at least. He may yet win it. And he's been to eight finals campaigns as a player. So that experience, you would think, you've seen the knowledge of how to treat this important month through September and into the first weekend of October. It certainly looks like his players are benefiting from having David Kidwell holding the clipboard. Talking to him before the game, just before I interviewed him, he was quite relaxed. And that would come across to the players. There's a Rabbitohs here again. These are the little things that win your grand finals. Those are the little things that win you the big games. When you're 40 points in front, 40 or so points in front, you've still got the enthusiasm to kick, and not only to kick well and land it there, but to chase. It show that enthusiasm to really drill the nail into this Raiders side. Yes, the Raiders will kick you out from under the crossbar after Hayden Hodge was trapped in goal. And for the third time this season, the Rabbitohs have hit 48 points. Can they go past it for the first time? You would think it is only a matter of time until they crack 50 for the first time in 2010. What a lead up for a grand final, or is it? We'll come back to that in a minute. Mundine still dancing and trying to find a way through the offload now as he was picked up to Jack Tullam out. 
And now Pettibourne straightens Kennedy. Pettibourne, he crosses. Raise the bat, South Sydney. The half century is on the board for the first time this year. You've gone to 5 0. Well, it's a try to the Rabbitohs, but we've got time out. We've got Matt Mundy on the ground, which is a concern. The South medical staff are over the top of him. He's, he looks a bit groggy. His legs are moving, so it doesn't look like a, a serious injury. Well, this will be a concern if he doesn't get up. He had all sorts of moves before the defence got hold of him. Then the flick pass and the heavy landing. He had no regard for self-preservation instead content on trying to get the ball away and as a result he's come out of it with an injury here it is a heavy landing on a shoulder and straight away he was in trouble we were watching Kennedy Pettiborn go over and if you watch again but importantly while these replays have been on Mundine is back to his feet and back with the teammates so breathe easy if you're a South Sydney fan, your 5 8th and playmaker should be fine for the grand final. But Kennedy Pettiborn. Ten tries now. Do your cousins spell Raper differently throughout your family, Stu? Because the Pettiborns have a reason to do so. You don't want to mess with a name like Raper. <laughs> you leave it the same. It's uh, quite strange, but. He's shown uh, he's got, he's got uh, very similar attributes as his cousin with that footwork and that step and that weave and that, that power to get himself across the line. It's a smart little bit of football. And I think uh, David Kibble's heart must have been in his mouth when he saw Matt Mundine go down and not move. And I'm thankful he's up and ready to go again. I'm sure Eddie Pettiborn was cheering on his cousin from somewhere. Maybe at ANZ, maybe watching elsewhere as this is getting repetitive. For Adam Reynolds, he is nine from nine, and well may South Sydney's supporters applaud. The borough is faithful, isn't it? It went to the Gold Coast for the first week of finals. It's made the shorter trip to ANZ for the third week. I can guarantee the borough will be back on grand final day, hoping to celebrate the first grand final as Han Garner messed that up, it was off the boot, he raced forward and regathered. So was the knock-on apparent as he hit the deck? Because I couldn't see a problem with it until he got to the ball. That's what Gavin Morris is called. As he came off the feet, it was really interesting to see he was out, outside of the field of play when he was going into the ball. He ricocheted off his feet. There he is, look, he's outside the field of play. If he takes that ball, he's out. It was interesting. Him if his foot was on the line there and he's called a knock on on the ground too hard to tell from that view well the Raiders now they want to get something now they've got 15 minutes to go left in their season they want to finish with a bit of pride try to get a try Michael Chikan one of the players who will be back in the Canberra Pride of Cup team next year smart to Williams McCure. Here's Appleton. Sam Williams still eligible again next year, so a key man back for the green machine. Can they make it four years running? They reach the finals. Here's Drury Lowe towards the goal line, held up, pushed sideways, and into touch. It is not Drury's day. Check around the Although we are going to go upstairs and have a look. If he's got this ball down. It's it will be one of the modern day miracles. He was heading out real quick. There was plenty of Rabbitohs players on, and he couldn't get himself to the ground. They lifted him, got underneath him. The only Rabbitoh not there was Russell Crowe. <laughs> How on earth did they even think this was near a try? You know what's good about that, Matt? It's a yellow football. I've thought of this before. I'll do it again. Looks like the ball's come loose there. I don't think we're going to get a try out of it. Well, let certainly, the audience certainly not a try. Is it? On what you're try. talking about, as you told me off air, you want yellow balls used in the NRL and for good reason, because so many decisions these days are referred to the video referee. You can see just there how easy it is to see, as opposed to 
a white ball conflicting with the white lines, the white shorts, often white jumpers. Well, we change colours in everything else. Our trainers are different colours, our referees are different colours, our teams are different colours. But we still play with a white football. It's still the same as a lot. Most sides have white in there. As a no try comes up. 20, 20. And we'll go to a 20 minute restart. So it's called a knock on over the line by Drury Lowe. They touched before, Matty, on would David Kidd will be happy with this, you know, this game, this preparation going in, an easy, easier game going into the grand final. What he'll be happy about is the foundation of their game. Their defence has been strong, their kick and chase has been strong, and their enthusiasm has been great. And that hasn't let up. I know they've scored a lot of tries. I know they've scored, you know, a lot of soft tries. But the foundation of the game has been oh, yeah. good. I've really been impressed with their shape on the fringes in attack and defence. And if they can maintain that, they know they're going to come up against a better opposition next week in the Warriors. They know they're going to come up against a side that is dynamic and got plenty of second phase play. But if he can maintain this foundation, they're going to have to lift it up another gear, but he'll still be pretty happy, David Kidball. I want to get back to something more interesting, the ball. What about your push? Is it gaining momentum? Do you have any friendly ears in NRL ranks? Because while we're having a bit of a joke about it... Oh, what about oh. this for a try? Junior Vibai has come from nowhere. The ball sat up, and it is party time now for South Sydney. Even the football gods seem to be wearing the colours of South Sydney this evening. And I think a yellow, a white, a purple, or any type of ball is going to bounce that way because it's all been rabbitized. They're not only doing the right thing, but they're getting a bit of luck as well. That ball popped up. But you've got to be there. You've got to be in the right position. Favay chases. Oh, he has it. He's plucked it out. Nearly plucked it out of the Raiders' hands. One hand pull in. Class footballer. Class football and class football side, the South Sydney side. And they all know where the cameras are. A big smile straight down the lens from Junior Vibai. He has good reason to smile. He's been a star of the Toyota Cup. 18 tries this season in 20 games. He's tasted NRL last year. And this season. And when he can show skills like that, he and Dylan Farrell have shown skills like that, haven't they? We saw Dylan Farrell pull a ball in one-handed in NRL to thread his way through against the Tigers. Well, they're excited footballers. They back their ability. They have plenty of confidence, and when the football's there, they'll go for it. They won't hold back. And he said, you've got to put yourself in a position. You've got to chase hard, not think that it's going to keep rolling out the touch. You want the ball to come to you. And the good footballers do that. So I showed that. Adam Reynolds with his most difficult conversion attempt of the evening. He has slotted nine from nine. This one from the sideline for the impressive 100% record. Ten from ten. What's he going to do from the sideline? Adam Reynolds, it looks good, but it's coming away just off the upright. The first blemish and the little smile. It's going to have no consequence apart from to blot that record that was looking fantastic. Watch it again. It was looking good. It was looking good, but it's just shaved to the left-hand side of the upright. He thought it was there. No emotion. A little smile. There's your emotion. As the Raiders kick the ball dead, forcing a line dropout for the Rabbitohs. So 22 points... Now for Adam Reynolds in this game. And his best is 24. So can he go past his greatest haul in Toyota Cup level? And those three men are hoping that Benji Marshall can have a points haul like that a little later. It would be a brave man to say he's going to finish with a personal haul of 22. But certainly... This crowd building in anticipation for the Tigers and the Dragons. McKillick offloads for Nichols. So this points haul by South Sydney easily their biggest in Toyota Cup history. Here's Matt Aura still trying for the Raiders. 
the highest points tally in the 20s is 64 twice. Drew Rillow couldn't hang on to it. And Francis Laulu comes away. Yes, Penrith and Manly, twice in fact for the Sea Eagles, have hit 64 points. So another converted try. We'll see South Sydney join those clubs with the highest score in Toyota Cup history. But the question we raised earlier on, Stu, was what sort of grand final preparation is a win like this, a blowout scoreline? Well, it maintains your confidence. It's still getting your football. You want to win any game, whether it's by 50 or by five. You want to make sure you're winning and to get yourself an opportunity in the grand final. Everything that's, that you've done behind now is, well, it's not forgotten, but it's certainly not going, any scoreline's not going to contribute to the way you play your grand final. And I've said before, the base of their game is a good little break here. Here's Pettyborn, who's oh, already scored one try today, dummy and took the tackle from Hayden Hodge. Here's Mansour, he goes out of acting half. Now across to Mundine, who's back to his best after a knock. He crosses the line, but there's that yellow ball, Stuart Raper, clearly <laughs> held up again. The mighty yellow ball. I'm trying to get a bit of momentum. I, I am doing my best. A good break here, Paddy Bourne, showing the ball. He's got plenty of power, hasn't he? Running with a big smile on his face. Does it have to be yellow, or would you settle for lilac or beige or something like that? I'm not a real colour man. I, it's more about identification of something that looks a little bit different to what we see there, we see so many tries now scored, especially at NRL level, where there's five or six men around the ball. Sometimes you can't even see it. We've had a number of refs calls this year because you can't see the football. And, and you go to Sir George jumper, for example, Sir George Illawarra jumper, it's white, it just moulds into it. So I'll keep on it, don't worry, Matt. I'll get there through someday. You make good sense. Is there any opposition? There is, actually. The on clubs. Don't want it. Oh, no, well, it was brought up a few years ago. It was a relieving penalty for the Raiders come. It was brought up a few years ago and uh, discussed by the clubs. They didn't want it for certain reasons. It certainly uh, made some sense to me. Any good reasons against the coloured ball? Well, one of the reasons was they did this. Someone brought up that it doesn't goal kick as well as, or doesn't kick as well as a white ball. I, I couldn't figure that one out. Please. And there was something about the yellow moulds into the to the green of the grass. Well, well that one may have some merit, but well, I can't believe... Purple. Make it purple if you can. And just use a yellow one when we're playing, when the Melbourne Storm are playing. I can't believe the colour of the ball can be kicked differently. Back to this game as Williams dummies and has a crack. He deserves a final try for the Raiders this season. So good for much of the year as the Raiders spent the majority of the season in the top eight. The offload comes to Smart. Smart crashes over, reaches out one-handed. The man who has played every game this year for the Green Machine, the only man to do it, fittingly, gets four points. A consolation try there. But he's worked hard, Smart, as he's told hard. That's the big fella here in Appleton. A really good offload out the back. Probably a little bit of a lucky offload, as they're always going to do. But they've come up with plenty of errors when they've come up this tour this top of this area but he knew he was passing that that was well executed that wasn't just a throw it out the back he knew exactly where he wanted to go smart had wrapped around well and it was a good offload from appleton and well, it'll be it's going to be a long trip back for the raiders and a bus trip back home and, uh, you know, there's a lot that they've liked or that david hamilton would have liked over the course of the season from the raiders so chris medcalf tonight two from two it won't mean much for him because his side is going to be well beaten that is three from three but as an isolated piece of rugby league that trial was magnificent for smart to hit appleton well and then loop around the offload from appleton was high quality and then smart had a little bit of work to do to reach out and find the line so a nice consolation for Canberra, but that is all it will be a trail by 40 points South Sydney, they all want to use these final five and a half minutes to put their name in the record books. Another converted try will see them equal the highest tally in the Toyota Cup game of 64. Who knows? Maybe they can even go past that. 
with a dream finish. But it sets up a great grand final next week, doesn't it, Matt? Two form sides, I believe, of this competition. I know the Bulldogs have probably been a bit unlucky you know, last night. They've been pretty good this year, but the Warriors have really come home with a head of steam, and the Rabbitohs, they're playing some great and entertaining football. They've got some class. As a simple one on one, but he was offside. It was it was Talamaha. But it really is going to be an interesting contest next week. The Raiders, I'm sorry, the Rabbitohs play more control football. Their shape's good, they execute their football well. The, the Warriors, well, they're a little bit offload, play in front, play what's in front of you, like to, to throw that football around. So, we're in for a really great battle next week. Nichols goes out to his winger, Metcalf. He doubles back, they grabbed a consolation try a moment ago. They want another one. And South Sydney will be keen to keep the opposition under 20 points in preparation for the grand final. You understand Tom Murphy's willingness to have a crack. He's one of the first year players here and will be back. There's a sloppy cleanup. James Roberts has some work to do. This will be magnificent. And he gets back into the field of play. Oh! He's going to do it again. He did it already in the final round of the season from deep in his own in goal. He is going to go the length of the field for try number four. Can you believe it? James Roberts. 110 metres of absolute brilliance. What a cracker. What a try. What a try. We saw Jennings score a try for Penrith from his in goal, pick up a kick this year against... I think it was Parramatta. Full length of the field try. And I think he's he's done this here as Roberts as the kick goes. Ricochet looks like a knock back, all gone backwards. Knock back there. Roberts picks it up, gets a push. They think it's all over. He goes, no. I'll step. I'll go back out. We'll be having a look at this touch line here now. And Stewie, this was exactly what he did against the Dragons in the last round of the competition. He fielded the ball at his own in goal, somehow managed to get back into the field of play, but didn't stop there, raced away. I can't believe that he's done it twice in the space of three games. You've got to be game as a winger. He was always going around. You've got to be game as a winger to turn back and go that short side. None of the Raiders thought he was going this way. They all thought he was going to go infield or probably just run it dead and go for a long drop out. There he goes. We're going to the grounding. It's all good. We're going to see the green light. We're going to see a try. Four tries tonight. What a fantastic game from this young guy. That's the way that David Kibble would want to fish. He would want to fish with two soft tries for the Raiders. Here we go. Try there. He would like this the way to finish on top, finish with confidence, and go into this grand final with that enthusiasm. And there he is there on the side. I'm not showing too much. Come on, David. Give us a smile. A smile from David Kidwell, but an excited look from Brendan McKinnon in front of him. And let's have another look at this. You can watch it all day. What a luxury for David Kidwell to lose Dylan Farrell and as a result be able to call on James Roberts. He fended, he stepped, he had no room, he had no right. But look at the result. Away he races, they were celebrating back up field. None of his teammates could stay with him except for Malcolm Webster. And what a player. He scored three tries against the Dragons in round 26. He's got four tries in week three of the finals. James Roberts and this kick from Adam Reynolds to see South Sydney and their smiling coach David Kidwell hit 64 points and equal the greatest points haul in Toyota Cup history. Won't Redfern be rocking tonight? I think David Kibble will be trying to keep it down, actually. He'll be trying to play it down. Within the team, maybe. But at the Leagues Club, they will be toasting Adam Reynolds and his band of under-20s, who now hit 64 points and set up a great grand final against the Warriors. They are teams one and two. The Rabbitohs finishing first, the Warriors finishing second at the end of the home and away season and they will meet in the decider. And what a decider it shapes as given that when they last met in round 20 at this ground, it was a 19-18 thriller. 
won by the Warriors. Now, Laulu with a strong run. So, a one point ball game when they last played. It is live and uninterrupted next week on Fox Sports. The team that has brought you the under 20s all season will do so until the end. We hope you can stay with us tomorrow week, grand final day. As another offload and more points here would make them the record team. High by falls. They have a minute and 10 seconds to score another try, become the highest scoring team in a game and that will cool their chances it was Laulu who lost possession and Loxley comes away into the final minute the senior set the Warriors and the Rabbitohs in the 2010 Toyota Cup grand final both of them appearing in their first under 20s decider as the Raiders get a penalty Stuart Rafe I'm already looking forward to that game would you Dare to tell us who you think might win, even a long way out? Well, I've got no idea. Like I said, I think they're two very different sides as the Raiders take a quick tap. But two very different teams that, that I like the way the Rabbitohs are playing. And I know that the Raiders are probably down in their game. They've come up with a lot of errors. They missed a lot of tackles. Their completion rates have been down. But the slickness and the execution that the South side have got, the confidence they get from this victory, it could help them against the Warriors side that... Well, they battled hard last night against the Bulldogs. Well, Canberra will finish with the ball, but South Sydney will finish with the ultimate prize, a grand final berth against the Warriors on Sunday week. The minor premiers have gone on with the job during the finals and reached the last game of the season. Well done, David Kidwell. Well done, South Sydney. The Rabbitohs are through and the Raiders for one game short.